For today's video, we are going to talk about what is stocks and we are going to explain everything in details. So when we say stocks, it's a share in ownership of a company. So basically, it is form of equity financing or raising money by allowing investors to be part owners of the company. And there are two different kinds of stocks. The first one is the common stocks and the second one is the prepared stocks and both of them will receive dividends. And when we say dividend, that is the share in the company's profit. Dividend per share, it is the ratio of the dividends to the number of shares. Stock market, it is a place where stocks can be bought or sold. The stock market in the Philippines is governed by the Philippine Stock Exchange. Market value, it is the current price of a stock at which it can be sold. Stock yield ratio, it is the ratio of the annual dividend per share and the market value per share. And lastly, par value, that is the per share amount as stated in the company certificate. And those are the different terms that you need to remember in order for us to understand what is stocks. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number one, a certain financial institution declared a 30 million pesos dividend for the common stocks. If there are a total of 700,000 shares of common stocks, how many is the dividend per share? To determine the amount of dividend per share, let us identify first our given. So let us have the total dividend that is 30 million pesos. And then let us have the total shares which is 700,000 so to find the dividend per share all you have to do is to divide the total dividend by the total number of shares so let us have total dividend over total shares so let's have 30 million divide by total shares that is 700,000 so let us cancel the five zeros and let us have 300 divide by 7 300 divided by 7, that is 42.86 pesos. So this will be the amount of dividend per share, and this will be our answer. On example number 2, a certain corporation declared a 3% dividend on a stock with a far value of 500 pesos. Mrs. Lingan owns 200 shares of stock with a par value of 500 pesos. How much is the dividend she received? So to determine the amount of dividend she received, let us identify first our given. So let us have the dividend percentage and that is 3%. Or if we are going to write this one in decimal, that is 0 0.03. Next, we have a par value that is 500 pesos next we have the number of shares she owned that is 200 so to determine the dividend let me give you two different solutions on how we can find the dividend she received for 200 shares First, let us determine the dividend per share. So let us have dividend per share that is 500 multiplied by dividend percentage that is 3% or 0 0.03. 500 multiplied by 0 0.03 it will give us 15. So this will be the amount of dividend 
per share. Since Mrs. Ligan owns 200 shares, let us have 15 multiplied by the share she owned that is 200. So 15 multiplied by 200, it will give us 3,000 pesos. So this will be the amount of dividend she received. Another solution, let us have dividend. So let us simply multiply the dividend percentage, the par value, and the number of shares. So let us have the par value that is 500 multiplied by dividend percentage that is 0 0.03 times the number of shares that is 200. So 500 multiplied by 0 0.03 that is 15 and 15 times 200 it will give us 3,000 pesos. So we come up with the same answer. On our last example, Corporation A with a current market value of 52 pesos gave a dividend of 8 pesos per share for its common stock. Corporation B with a current market value of 95 pesos gave a dividend of 12 pesos per share. Use stock yield ratio to measure how much dividend shareholders are getting in relation to the amount invested. So to solve the given problem, let us use stock yield ratio to measure and compare how much dividend shareholders are getting in relation to the amount invested. So when we say stock yield ratio, it is the ratio of the annual dividend per share and the market value per share. So let us identify first our given. So let us have Corporation A. with dividend per share that is 8 pesos and market value that is 52 pesos so to determine the stock yield ratio let us simply divide the dividend per share by the market value. So let us have dividend per share over the market value. Dividend per share in Corporation A that is 8 pesos and market value of 52 pesos. So 8 divided by 52 that is 0 0.1538. Or if we are going to write this one in, the, in, in percentage, that is 15.38%. So this will be the stock yield ratio for Corporation a. And for Corporation B, let us have the dividend per share that is 12 pesos. And then market value. that is 95 pesos and to solve for stock yield ratio in corporation b let us simply divide the dividend per share and market value that is 12 over 95 12 divided by 95 it will give us 0 0.1263 or if we are going to write this one in percentage, that is 12.63%. So this will be the stock yield ratio of Corporation B. So if we are going to compare the stock yield ratio of Corporation A and Corporation B, Corporation A has a higher stock yield ratio than Corporation B. 
That means each peso would earn more if you invest in Corporation A than Corporation B. If all other things are equal, then it is wiser to invest in Corporation A. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.